Yes, this opener. This is the opener you have versus RMD. Okay, this is what you do versus RMD in the opener. This is what you do every time unless you find the dude, okay? This is the classic feral dude opener versus RMD that I do 90% of the time because 90% of the time you do not find the rest of the dude. This is the opener right here. So they sap elite and they're going on V. What I do is I target the mage, I pounce the mage. The very first thing you do is pounce the mage. And as you see, I'm already moving my character to where he's going to blink. I'm already moving my character towards where he's going to blink. I'm already running there because I know he's going to blink. He's going to blink the stun. I know that. So I'm running to where he's going to blink. As soon as I get there, I disorient, war stomp, and start casting cyclone. Watch this. Okay. That's the opener. Every time. Every single freaking time versus RMD, this is what you should do. Unless, yeah, this is every time versus RMD. This is what you do. This is the most helpful opener I can give you that causes the least amount of pressure on your team. This is what happens. So they're going to open on my warrior. I'm looking for the mage. I'm trying to spam target the mage. As soon as the mage comes out, pounce him, start running towards the blink, disorient, war stomp. I get cloned, but guess what? They got peeled. Look at my warrior. Look at my warrior's health. He took no damage in that opener because of what I did. I pounced the mage, disorient, and tried, started to cast a clone after the war stomp. That's what you do versus RMD in the opener. You'll often force trinkets. You'll force Will of the Forsaken, stuff like that. You'll force lots of stuff by doing that in the opener versus RMD. And that's why it's a good idea to do that opener versus RMD. Like, I can't emphasize that opener enough. That's the best thing you can do as a feral dude. Target the mage, pounce him, run where he's going to blink, and disorient him on the rogue, and then war stomp on top of that in the opener. It's huge. It'll save your teammates 90% of the time, I swear. So I knocked the rogue there because he got a re-stealth. Just try to knock him on his stealth, keep him, you know, away from my druid. And we do force ice block there. So because of that great opener that we had, we weren't put under any pressure from this RMD and we're able to force ice block from the rest of druid. So that's a very good example of what to do in the opener versus an RMD. So we're going to keep going. Uh, rest of druid comes out of ice block. I pop swifty one shot. He blinks away. I get back to him right away. My warrior's in trouble, but I'm popping swifty on the druid. So I'm kind of pressuring him and we're all right. Get disoriented. I know my warrior is okay because I know they don't really have too many cooldowns for him. So I'm just going offensive and letting those guys 2v2 while I 1v1 the rest of Druid. I do bubble. Okay, there. Important moment. I bubbled the Cyclone. They haven't touched me at all this entire game. If I get Cyclone there, I'm forced to Trinket. I value Trinket over Bubble in most situations. So the reason I value Trinket over Bubble is because I can Trinket Shield Wall and stuff. And I can bubble a Cyclone. So what I did was I pre-bubbled the Cyclone so I don't get Cycloned because the Cyclone becomes immune. And I'm able to keep up offensive pressure on the Druid and he's not allowed to go clone my teammates so they can get pressure. It's just kind of a little thing that I wouldn't recommend doing if you kind of aren't experienced as a Feral Druid. But if you know what's kind of going on in the game, you can do it. So basically just trying to constantly keep Fairy Fires up on the rogue, Keeping him CC'd. Trying to stop the mage from CC my pally like I did right there. Put the mage in, trying to clone the mage, trying to stop sheep as much as possible. My pally does kick that sheep as I use my interrupts on the other one. Kind of called that out for him, and he puts the ring down. It's fine. I fairy the rogues, or roar the rogues restealth into probably a fairy fire. Just root him, because I know he just got a re, so he can't read for a little bit. Put the fairy fires on him. Probably get a stealth here, because my fairy fires on Oh, I didn't get it. That's okay, though. I was spamming it anyways, for the least. Here, right here, this moment is important, too. Uh, okay. You have to be ready for a swap against RMD every single time. Rogue gets a restealth. I know a swap is coming. Look what I do. Look, the instantly the swap comes. My pally is away from my warrior. Warrior is behind the pillar. Look what I do instantly here. It's extremely important to watch here. Uh, a little bit further. Right here. Boom. Right there. 950. Where is that? 944. Right here. Okay. Warrior is on the opposite side of the pillar. My pally is way the hell over here. Okay. Look at the RMD. They're pushing in on my warrior. They're pushing in on him. The rogue's coming around in stealth. The mage is pushing in like this. I know the swap is coming to my warrior. Watch this. My warrior gets cheap shot, and watch how fast I pop Heart of the Wild right here. The instant my warrior gets cheap shot, I Heart of the Wild. My pally is in Africa. He's in Africa in a polymorph. My warrior gets cheap shot behind the pillar. I pop Heart of the Wild. I instantly give him a Scenarian Ward. I rejuvenate him. And then... I start tranking. Now look at that. I instantly pop part of the wild on the swap. I trank and I rejuvenate. And look, my warrior, look at his health. This entire time. I, get, I end up getting CMS. My pilot doesn't CS. Look at the warrior's health. He's at full. My pilot had to do nothing. The instant I saw the swap coming, I instantly heart of the wild because I knew of the situation at that time. 
So me and the Palliers going offensive on this dude here, leaving my warrior kind of behind, which is fine because we just stopped their big swap. We just sw stopped smoke bombs, so we're okay for a little bit. Not too long, but for at least a little bit. So I'm just running at this rogue, trying to stop his restyle. I do not get it. So I tried to Typhoon there, was on cooldown. It's okay. I'm just trying to watch right now. So my warrior gets put into a kidney shot. I still have Heart of the Wild up, so I just toss him a Heart of the Wild healed. And look how much it's healing for. Just look at those ticks. It's so big. Look at this. My warrior instantly put into that kidney. I recognize I have Heart of the Wild. My Pally gets even put in Polly. Just help your teammate with Heart of the Wild. Watch this. Look at the ticks. Watch the ticks over here. 36k. 71k. 71k. Imagine if he didn't have 200,000 extra health. He'd be down here and not up here. And that's kind of the thing you want to do as a Feral Dude. Utilize your cooldowns to the best of your ability to stop your team. I'm trying to force the mage to counterspell and stuff and to do things to me. That's why I'm casting Cyclone. I'm trying to force the mage to counterspell me instead of my paladin because if he does that my paladin can free cast and top my team i'd throw the war stump out there just trying to fuck with this mage as much as i freaking possibly fucking can and um yeah so here here is another big moment my paladin gets put into the full sheet my warrior is getting raped here he's in a orb dance or an orb stun swap at least which is the most damage rmd can do so what am i going to do here i'm just going to try my best to stop the damage so what i do is I kick the mage on frost and uh, that's about it. That's about all I had to do. Kick the mage on frost. That stops his entire frost tree. That stops the burst from coming in. We're safe. We're fine. The rogue guard uses mark for death, so we're okay. So I just kind of stopped the mage on frost there. It's fine. That's all you have to do. So we're sticking to the druid, still running after him like mongoloids that we are. Keep very far on the rogue. Very important. Always do that when he's in line of sight. Just press that button on cooldown. Just like macro it into all your abilities if you have to. Macro focus very far on the rogue. And we're just raping the druid. Yeah, he goes down. Not quite yet. Pretty soon. That's another kind of cool thing to do. Is if you're stuck in a ring, just click a target outside of the ring and just feral charge out of it. You won't get wrong. And um, so the important thing to note is I'm just stopping every single swap that I can on my warrior. I'm just trying to help him out as much as I friggin'ly can possible. So here is the next scary moment for my warrior. Right now. This is the scariest of moments for my warrior. Because he blanket cs me. He blanketed me. I cannot disorient. I cannot heal him. I can only use Scenarian Ward, and I think I do. Yeah, I do. So I Scenarian Ward him in the silence, and then instantly I'm spamming my Disorient Roar out of the silence, and I think we do end up finishing the Druid. And since the Mage CS'd me there, as he was forced to CS me, my Pally can't get CS'd, I end up throwing a clone on the Rogue's Dance, and the Orb gets whiffed because of the Rogue's clone on his Dance, so it's important to throw out those random Cyclones, put Fairies in the Rogue, and the Druid ends up dying to my Bleed Tick. That's kind of the game you want to play as a Feral Druid. That's your job. That was a good example of the game. The other one, not so much because I was being trained, but if you're not being trained on a Feral Druid, that's your job during the game. Disrupt their swaps. Use Heart of the Wild on their swaps. Do your best that you possibly can in the game to stop the RMD from doing what they're allowed to do, which is rape your warrior, which is what they do most of the time.